51 victories. 51 of them by knockout. Came in at 159 and a half. Mugabe at 157. Slight reach advantage to Hagler. And these two gentlemen about the same height as you can see. It's a good physical matchup. Any question from the challenger or is Chief Zuckett? Any question from the champion or is Chief Zuckett? Let's get it on. Come on. Let's get it on. All right. Bill Blade from Reno. An experienced referee of championship bout. And we are just about ready to go. Hagler in the corner to our left, just above us, in blue trunks, Mugabe in white. Round one. Anytime there's two punches, Jim, there's immediate excitement. And Hagler is not fighting Southland. Jim, he's fighting orthodox style. There's a surprise right off the bat. And feel the tension in the crowd. High anticipation. Watch marvelous Marvin Hagler and the dangerous puncher, John Mugabe. Mugabe throws punches from all angles. They're very, very unorthodox. That took from Hagler. I want to tell you, if that left hook of Mugabe landed, then it may have been all over. He had some leverage on that punch. He can really sling that left hook, but it usually comes from way outside. If he lands, yes, anything's possible. We might have, have Hagler in our lap if he misses. Of course, Hagler, the consummate boxer, can counterpunch back. You know, I'm very surprised that Marvin Hagler is fighting orthodox style. He hasn't fought South Boys yet. I think Hagler's showing some uh, proper respect for the punching power of Mugabe here as he's literally feeling him out in round number one. The left hook from Mugabe blocked perfectly by the hand of Marvin Hagler. Hagler's counterpunching beautifully. Beautifully right now, Tim. Block two punches and count the punch with a left hook. Right hand lead by Hagler. And left hook by Mugabe, Tim. Right landed by Hagler. Mugabe counter punches back off each of those. But Hagler has been able to score with the lead. At this moment, Tim, there's a lot of snap in Mugabe's punches. I don't think I can remember back when Marvin ever started a fight boxing from the orthodox style. I can't either, and he hasn't turned around as yet. That takes depth discipline, Tim, because I know he's more comfortable with the south walk. Under a minute to go. What you're thinking about that, the fact that we mentioned earlier that he has been very effective fighting orthodox in recent fights? Or does it have to do with this particular matchup against Mugabe? Well, I, I think that they really thought they could foul Mugabe up because he's been working against Southpaws all along, and all of a sudden he comes out, and Hag was not a Southpaw. Mugabe so far has shown good discipline and poise. Yes, he has. A wild swinging right by Hagler missed, and he paid for it with punches back to the body. An overhand right landed on the dome of Hagler. Tim, Hagler is feeling those punches, believe me. Final second of round one. I know that, that Mugabe got Hagler's respect that round. I can see it on Marvin's facial expression. He knows he's in with a bomb. Now he's a southpaw, Tim. Now he's back in this comfortable position. Round number two, scheduled for 12, remember, under the WBC regulations. There's a left landed by Hagler. Two left hands by Hagler, Tim. But you know, we always say a, a left hook is the way to beat a southpaw, and Mugabe's got a vicious left hook. Well, left jab by Hagler scoring. Up to the body underneath the elbow of Mugabe. right jab and moving to his right trying to negate the punching power of Mugabe. It has worked so far. He has scored consecutively. And a left hook lead land. Hagler with a little wide that punch up him. Is on. And Mugabe is not getting the worst of it at the moment. He is 
very relaxed. sound counsel, but I don't think that Marvin Hagler is about to lose heart. Well, Marvin is moving the way he should go now, Tim. He has to constantly move to his right and use that jab, make Mugabe reach for him. Anytime he's in front of Mugabe, he's in trouble. Almost surrealistic scene with the steam coming off the dome of Marvin Hagler and the cool air here in Las Vegas. You can see that Hagler averages just a little more than five rounds about Mugabe in his first 26. Barely finishes three. He knocks most people out. Yep. We're into round number three now. It's a good counter punch by Hagler. He's got Mugabe reaching a little bit now, Tim. A good block by Hagler. He picked up that wild no, no, high left. Hagler switched around again, Tim. He's boxing the orthodox style again. Now he's back to south. He does it so smoothly, it's hard to pick up. Mugabe teeing off a little more here in the third round. up and that power just moved him back. And Marvin made a good right hook. Hagler working the body with two shots. He has Hagler backing up, Tim. Under a minute to go in round number three, the 31-year-old champion. Some people wondering about his age, but he always trained so superbly, never out of shape, never been a factor for him. Again, that left hand of Hagler's is a little wide. Not going that straight thought down the middle. And again, he can slide to his right, and that's when he's affected. Who's that right jab? Stay away from those counters. They should tell Mugabe in this corner to move to his left. He's making, he's making Mugabe reach now. And Two solid right jabs by Hagler. Sliding to the right for jab. That's up to Mugabe to move the other way. Yeah. You're, uh, you're working on it now, right? Yeah. All right. 
Tim, I'm surprised that in neither Go corner ahead. are they using a blanket okay. or a heavy towel to okay, keep these guys warm. She's trying to counter with you, but you see what this girl you're doing fine. Work over towards his left hand. Right. The yeah. air is cooler as the evening has gone on, too. We've been here since 6 p.m. last Vegas time. To get him lunch, I take a half day. And he's going to get reckless. Sugar Ray Leonard and giving some counsel. You can see how chilly it is. You saw Ray warming his hands. He's got a sweater and a jacket on. John Mugabe. Well, I think he has surprised a lot of people so far through three rounds. We scored that last round for Marvin Hagler using that right jab to good effect. That would qualify dead even through three. Go, would you agree? Just about it, Tim.
This is a mind over match point. Solid body shots from the champion in that exchange. Gabi just stands in the middle of the ring, pivots around his head in circles. Now he comes forward. Under a minute to go. Now number five. from the challenger, but that jab and the champion right back. And the big difference in this fight right now is Marvin Hagler's stick chair. Everything else is just about equal. Well, the scoreboard that will likely show up for all three judges, very well, they've already done be showing off from Las Vegas. Under the 32nd mark we go. We've been joined at ringside by Tommy Hurd. We're going to have him get involved with us in round number six. An interested observer for a shoot. The jab landed. The left behind it was blocked by McGowan. Again, that wide left hand by Hagler. But that jab is working overtime, Tim. There it is again. Final seconds of round five. Straight left to the nose of Mugabe just before the bell, but he didn't move. He didn't move. Schuler to win the NABF middleweight crown and do his part in creating the rematch. It's now up to Marvin Hagler. And, uh, Tommy, uh, five rounds have gone by. Did you expect Mugabe to still be here? What are, what are your impressions? Well, Tom, I, I thought it was going to be uh, a tough fight. I thought that uh, the guys would go in there and, and take a few rounds. I thought it would definitely take a few rounds before they really start connecting. Right now, they're starting to slow down now, especially John McGowan. He's sitting there, he's like a sitting target right now. And therefore, uh, Hagler is using his uh, jab very effectively. And, uh, building up points with his jab. I think it just be a matter of time before Hagler will be able to get that uh, plan right through there. Are you saying then that you think that uh, it'll be Hagler's power ultimately, that he'll, he'll stop Mugabe before 12? I think it, uh, I don't think it will go 12. I think that Marvin Hagler will stop it. All right, Tommy Hearns with his viewpoint, and uh, as you said, if anybody's really interested in the outcome, it's Thomas Hearns. Tommy, you mentioned that Marvin's going to get that left hand through there, but so far since the fight started, I've noticed that he's been throwing his left hand very well. That's about the straightest one he could. Well, what Hagler is doing is looping, he's looping his left hand. He's not shooting a straight left hand. The first left hand I see is our foot action tonight. Was left hand just a minute ago. A test of physical strength now, and Hagler is having a good combination. But he can't move that Mugabe back. My God, Tim, what punishment this Mugabe is taking, and he's still there. Hagler with target practice now, but he just cannot move Mugabe back. A warning to Lane from Lane for a low blow again, a right hand lead by Hagler, keeping the pressure on, and he caught a left counter. Another left counter for Mugabe, and Hagler won't move back. A test of rules, finally. Mugabe driven back to the ropes. Two consecutive right hands. Finally, the legs of Mugabe starting to show a little wear. Hagler keeps the pressure on. The months of preparation, the conditioning, Hagler showing here as he fires one punch after another. But Mugabe still on his feet. Jim, we talk about a guy with an iron chin. Mugabe has it. There's an uppercut from Hagler. Hagler better not punch himself out tonight. Now Mugabe firing back. Better not punch himself out. John Mugabe is some tough customer. Takes another shot. He's hit, he's hit Hagler with some good shots too, Tim. Finally, they clinch along the ropes. First time Mugabe attempted to grab Hagler. And Mugabe fires back. He lands a left hook. Mugabe is tying now. What a round. Yeah, he's been, he seems to be able to take some good shots. Real good. You're listening to Thomas Hearns, who's joined Bill Clancy and me at ringside with Al Bernstein. And here comes Hagler off quickly, firing out that right jab. Tim, if I was in Hagler's corner, that's what I'd have him doing. Just keep popping that chair, popping that chair, and be patient. Hagler's left hand is getting straight right now as we move on through the rounds. And he just threw another straight right hand, left hand now. 
Cody just gets himself planted in that wide stance and says, move me, try to. Well, Hagler's doing it now. We're in round seven, scheduled for 12. Well, McGovey just leaned back. Hagler missed him, nearly fell down. There's one of those unorthodox punches of McGovey's. You don't know where they're coming from. Boy, they have snapped. See the breath coming from him on this cool Las Vegas night. Two cuffs to the ear for the champion, Hagler. Gil, did uh, you feel that there would be a seventh round? Tim, I certainly did not. Nor did I. In the gym, McGovey left himself wide open, but it seems when he gets hit, nothing happens. There have been no knockdowns, although a lesser man would have gone down in round six from the onslaught from Hagler. Again, another warning, and we may be taking a point. Yes, we are. A point away from Hagler here in the seventh round after he had been warned twice before for low blows. You notice that left hand of Martin's that time? He just doesn't seem to be pegging it the way he usually he does. Can. Now he's fighting an orthodox style. Look at that. Well, now he's... Now he's Marvin, what he does, he keeps switching up. You know, he tried to confuse Mugabe. Mugabe, he's fighting one to the man uh, as left hand, then he switch up and go right hand. And I think that's kind of throwing him up. That's why uh, Mugabe is standing back in that crop to that stand. Hagler seems to be much better off in this fight. Oh, a good straight left by Hagler. Strong, and there's a solid right hand from 
Mugabe on Hagler didn't play. Well, Hagler again had switched to the orthodox style. I think he had better space out for it, Tim. He's doing a good job with that right jab. Why should he switch off? Yeah, I agree with you there. I think Hagler, his best work is on with the softball position. He's getting uh, Mugabe all the work that he possibly can stand in the left hand position. Tommy, you landed some real good shots, and you're fighting against Marvin Hagler. It must be a little frustrating to not see him respond, react. That's what's happening to Mugabe. Well, again, again, he's setting, he's setting Mugabe up with that right jab, Tim. That's the way he should stay. Just keep working behind that jab. And everybody but Newt Lockney in the corner there, trying to pep up John Mugabe. Father Tony was there, and uh, their, their, their feeling is clear that uh, Mugabe isn't being busy enough, that they must recognize he's falling behind on the cards. Uh, what did you pick out of that, Gil? Well, Tim, uh, Mickey Duff said you, you have to fight one. I don't know where he came up with that, but that's what he said. You have to fight one. He said, listen to the father. Don't give up on yourself. Well, that was the impression that I got, that they were saying, you know, don't, don't quit on us. Also, Tim, this is only the second. He's never been this far only one time against Hard Rock Green, so he's heading into territory that John Mugabe is not used to seeing. Conditioning has already indicated that he's capable of, of going the distance if it goes that far. But he's going to have to make something happen the way I see it, at least. And now there's some tape that has come out the right glove of Mugabe and Bill's laid over there to make sure that's repaired. Well, Tim, I'm fighting again, fighting outdoors, and believe me, it's much easier to fight a lot of rounds outdoors than it is in the smoky arena. So I don't think that either guy, uh, right now, fatigue is not a factor. Sure. Tommy, I'd like to go back to that the punching, the, the ability to take a punch that Marvin Hagler has shown here and uh, certainly shown against you. What are your what are your feelings about that? I think that Marvin has the ability of, of taking some good shots. Uh, you know, he has taken a lot of great shots here tonight, and uh, I give Marvin credit. For, I give credit for Craig is doing. I think that Marvin definitely deserves some credit, but I think that I'm a much stronger. Well, that's what everybody is waiting to see if the rematch well, that yet takes to be, place. That yet to be proven. <laughs> and I'm planning on proving that. All right. Yeah. You know, this fight isn't over yet. That's what you're talking about. You're talking about the... I do the fight. There's a lot of ifs. A lot of ifs practicing all of it. Right now, there's a lot of ifs because the fight is not over. John McGovern is still putting up a good fight. He's still trying. He hasn't quit yet. Round nine, scheduled for 12, and there's a right hand from the challenger, McGabby. That's scored. Combination from McGabby. Tim, they were very calm in Hagler's corner. They just, just, just get your rhythm, just keep popping, don't show them too much respect. Well, I, got, I got the impression that they conceded that round 90, Mugabe, with their comments of saying, just get back into your rhythm, Mugabe. Mugabe's landing a lot of good yes, punches now, Tim. Yes, he is. That last oh, one. Oh, straight right in. Hey, come on, Joe. This has been a terrific middleweight championship battle into the tent. John liked that body shot just then, Gil. Oh, he got a good body shot by Martin, and John did not like it. He was smart enough to hold, though, Tommy. Oh, yeah, he's fine. Hagler doesn't get the credit for being as 
bit pressuring Mugabe. Mugabe landed some terrific shots, Tim. He has to be discouraged because Marlon did not take a backward step. He's backing up Mugabe, finally. Well, Hagler was concentrating on bagging Mugabe and putting the pressure on him. And it seemed like Mugabe is falling apart. He don't like it downstairs. He's trying to keep his hands down the low to, to try to block his body punch. But all he's doing is setting himself up for some good shots to the head. Short chopping punches by Hagler and just pulls his way forward and keeps firing. Well, that seems to be the ticket inside for Hagler. And Mugabe's punches seem to be lacking a lot of snap now, Tim. Finally in the tenth round, the pace of the assault from the champion starting to show on Mugabe. But Byron didn't like that body shot. That was a good lock hook to the body. Under the 32nd mark in round 10. The legs starting to show a little sagging under Mugabe. Well, John Mugabe certainly got lots of encouragement from Mickey Duck, George Francis, and even Father Tony. Now, Tim, they, they made Father Tony the lead. They said, if you want to listen to me, listen to the father. I think it's just a matter of Mugabe being tired. He's never been to the 11th round ever in his life. He's never taken this kind of punishment at all. Well, he's really tired now. Well, that's the key. The key is the punishment. That's why he's tired. Keeps the heat on. Uppercut inside by the challenger. Then, as I said earlier, he'll be dangerous while he's falling down. Ready to go in the ring.
Now, while we're uh, waiting, Al hooking up with the Marvin Hagler, let's go back and look at the knockout blows. That right, two rights in a row on that second one did most of the damage, but you can see just how exhausted he is here. Finally, just caves in. Tremendous display by Hagler and a great display by John Mugabe who made a lot of friends and fans here tonight. And he'll be back. He's only 26 years of age, doesn't have much experience because he knocked everybody out so quickly.